leg. Okay, it's recording. Birds, spiders, and other wildlife. These creatures exist at a marina. They exist whether you have a covered slip or an uncovered slip. Some people, especially marina operators that don't have covered slips, like to emphasize the fact that birds and spiders poop, and they will poop on your boat. And I agree with that. And that's why every boat owner has to own a bucket, a mop, and some suds. Let's talk about something more important than that. Let's talk about what happens when you have a covered slip over time and when you don't have a covered slip over time. To my right here is a 2008 boat. It happens to be a Sea Ray, but it could be any brand of boat. That doesn't matter. And you can see how the blue has faded on the side of the boat. Now the way he would have avoided that is by having the boat hauled twice a year and having that hull polished and the top sides as well. The one thing people don't understand about fiberglass boats is that they don't have clear coat. They need to be polished just like old style cars 20 years ago did. We use gel coat, not paint on these boats. So if you take the hauling at $11 a foot and you take the polish and wax hull and top sides at $25 a foot and you take the materials at about 150 bucks, you can quickly see how you've got 325 bucks in hauling, you've got $25 a foot times 28 feet, that's 700 bucks and 150 bucks parts. So you're going to spend, if you're going to do it right, you're going to spend two or three thousand dollars a year keeping this boat polished correctly. And that will keep it looking brand new. There are some people who get a second anchor and try and do that standing in the water. Uh, there are people that try and get it done on their own because they have a floating pier and they're going to stand there and do that. They can talk about doing that all day long. Unless they, per unless they possess professional quality equipment, it ain't going to happen. Now let's go take a look at somebody else. Let's go take a look at this boat here. And, uh, you know, bear in mind it's white gel coat. I understand that. But if you take a look down the side of this boat and how clean this gel coat looks, and this person does not pay Hoffmasters Marina to polish the top sides. What this person does is every couple or three years they have the boat hauled out and we polish the hull for them then. Once every two or three years. The difference here is that this boat was produced in 1987. So it's a full 21 years older than the first boat we looked at. And yet the gel coat shines like brand new. That's not the only reason you want a covered slip though. There's two other reasons, rain and heat. So tomorrow we're going to have a 97 degree day. And if you're down on your boat and it's 97 degrees outside, your boat will be able, if it has air conditioning, to lower the ambient temperature by 20 degrees, which means it will be a balmy 78 to 80 degrees inside the cabin of your boat. And the one place you will definitely not want to be is sitting in the cockpit of this boat with the boat sitting in the slip. So you will be forced to take it for a ride. That's not always a bad thing, but sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes you just want to sit down and be on your boat. And that makes it much less enjoyable. A person who's in a covered slip is much cooler all the time. The second thing is if it's raining and you want to come down and be on the boat, you can't use the boat in the rain if you're in an uncovered slip. Now there are some people that have flush deck motor yachts and so forth and, and there's a point that could be made that you could go down inside that cabin with the canvas up and use the boat, but it's kind of like being in a camper in a rainstorm. It's not really fun. If you're under here with it raining, it just sounds like white noise and you can enjoy your boat. I have people that have rain parties out on these piers. So this is my push for covered slips.